If you'd like to make color changes in a chart, for example, in the chart to the right of this data and also in the chart below it, if you don't like that combination of colors, you can, by selecting one of the charts, going to the Design tab in the ribbon, third button from the left, Change Colors. And you notice there are four options called Colorful. As I slide over the second row here, watch that chart to the right. It's the one that's currently selected. And the next row down, and the next one. So we can change the colors of a single chart. Maybe I'll go with the fourth option there. And the chart below the data, I'll click here, scroll down a little bit, and use that same Change Colors button. And here too, sliding over some of the choices, I might choose the same fourth row, or maybe I'll choose the third row here. Recognize also that we could, if we wished, explore the monochromatic choices. There are quite a few more of those. And these pretty much all have the same general theme. It's the same color being used in different ways. So just some different approaches here to quickly changing the colors of a single chart. Pie chart, same idea, off to the right. Maybe we'll make some changes there as well too. Change colors. And again, proceed with some of those choices just like we saw before or some of the mon monochromatic options. Another approach changes all charts and also part of your data. If you go to the Page Layout tab, the leftmost button is called Themes. Now, you may be familiar with this concept. Uh, imagine if you're putting together a project and you've got some files in Microsoft Word, maybe in PowerPoint, and maybe it's going to be published or maybe it's going to be presented, and you want the different charts and text and images to all have more or less the same color palette. So in each of those different software packages, you could, by way of that same approach, picking the Page Layout tab first, then Themes, slide over some of the various options. As I slide to the right here over Facet, notice how the charts have all changed here. Now this is happening on all three sheets in this workbook, even though we're not looking at them. And there are quite a few choices here too. Now what we're not seeing, but we will see on the next worksheet or two, is that the text in the background is also changing in different ways. Different fonts are being used. So I'll go over to the sheet called City Sales. And the active cell can be anywhere. And here too, I'll go to Themes. And I didn't really change the theme previously, so we're still in the Office theme. But as I slide to Facet, watch the chart to the right. Now watch the data in the background from Columns A over to Columns H. You can see some of it. Those banded rows are looking a little bit different in the colors. Main focus here, of course, is on the chart, but we're making change. If I, for whatever reason, say, I like this look here called banded, I'll choose it. That has caused changes on all three sheets. So going back to year data, uh, this is a color combination we might or might not have seen before, but if we go to themes, we'll see that it's the banded theme that's currently in use. So for some people, I'm sure this would be a time waster. For others, I think it makes good sense. And sometimes you'll find a color scheme that looks just right for your needs. Explore this from time to time, but notice that this approach changes all worksheets, all charts, and some of the text as well. The other approach, where we selected a chart and went to the Design tab, only applies to the current chart that's being selected. And notice here, too, our choices under Colorful have changed if we've chosen a different theme. So lots of choices here for changing colors in charts.